Hello and welcome to another edition of TSS, your source for all things FIFA. Today we are taking a look at another legend and the player that happened to be my most expensive player to date, costing me 2.4 million coins and a player I sold for 3.1. It is the Argentinian legend, Mr. Five Star Weakfoot himself, Hernan Crespo. Alright, so let's take a look at the stats. 67 goals and 17 assists in 52 games, which is always very impressive. Again, you can see his beastly five star weak foot. His goal tally is even more impressive when you consider at least five of those games had server related disconnects, which did not count toward his goal tally, but counted toward his game tally. Let's take a look at the squad I put him in. This was the squad I ended in, him in. It would take forever to list all of the teams I tried to put Crespo in. I've tried him in a 4-3-2-1, a 4-1-2-1-2, and a 4-3-1-2 as well. This was a squad that seemed to play the best, close to offering a little bit more of an aerial threat there. And the midfield, of course, that beastly Juve group. And then Diego Alves, a very good keeper in goal. So for 3 million coins, you would expect a player to be game-changing. And say anything about Crespo, he is game-changing. He can put the team on his back at any given moment and change games for you. Here he uses his pace to get open and then is able to finesse the ball into the corner. His finishing is very good. It's a slight touch lower than Van Nistelrooy, in my opinion, but it's still in the top 10 of guys I've used in this game. He is so good at finishing the chances, and because of his added pace and sprint speed, he can create even more chances than a guy like Van Nistelrooy. Also, very similar to some of the legends where they just seem to be magic on volleys, Crespo is no exception, except he also adds a 5-star weak foot. As you can see here, this is on his left foot, and he finds the upper V. He's just truly magical when it comes to shooting crazy balls, but of course he can also do that. That was inch perfect. Any closer, and if it doesn't hit off the post, the keeper's going to save it or it's going to miss wide, but Crespo can find it, and that's with his weak foot again. He is just so good, so well-rounded, so capable of finding the space and winning games for you. But for me, the one thing that really sets him apart from every other legend I've used so far in this game is the pace and skill ability. I mean, as you can see here, he gets the ball played. He's about 40 yards away from goal here. A fake shot. He's going to get another fake shot. He's holding people off. That's just so rare for a player of his caliber. And then he gets all the way around everyone before finding the corner. That He's got enough strength. He's not super strong, but he can hold off people on challenges. And his fake shots and skill moves are very, very silky smooth. To really highlight Crespo's ability here, I'm going to get caught on on the counter, but Crespo is almost stronger if you're a little bit weaker in possession because Crespo is really able to stretch the field unlike any other legend player cheaper than him. As you can see, I just hurry it up, get the ball to Crespo and let him fight for it. Let him run, let him find the gaps. And that is a goal that not many legends are capable of scoring, simply because no other legend cheaper than him really has the pace and the strength to be able to hold off challenges and sprint by people. This next clip serves two purposes, and that's to show that Crespo, although he does create so many chances, he can miss a few sometimes. And that's something you didn't often see from Van Nistelrooy, but as you can see, he can get reset. He is 6-1, and he feels a little bit better in the air than he did last year. He's not going to win as many headers as you might like, but he is still authoritative enough to get his head on a lot of gimme ones, and he does have good enough accuracy to put him away. From range, he can convert with finesse or power, which is nice because he's able to find gaps. And his, his best area seems to be about 18 to 30, as you can see there. He just powers it away into the corner. And it's so nice. You just basically need to get a step in the right direction. And it's always going to, at the very least, be a corner kick. Most of the time, he can score because he does have such high shot power. And as you can see, he beats Loris with that one. I thought I'd cap it off with the craziest goal Crespo scored for me. My first bicycle kick in a thousand games, and it was Crespo. He just, he's so smooth. He does crazy stuff, and if you like scoring crazy goals, goals that you have no business scoring, Crespo is your man from distance or acrobatic. Crespo really is a complete player in the air, on the ground, finesse, power, long, close, everything you want from a guy. 
Alright, so here's the final breakdown. Keep in mind, a 10 out of 10 is a perfect player, and I don't give those out, really, because I haven't used a perfect player yet. That being said, Crespo's a 9 out of 10, which puts him in about the top 5, top 10 of players I've used in this game so far. Breakaway-wise, he's more than capable of sweating. He's so fast. He feels much faster than his card stats suggest. You can play through balls to him, and most of the time, he will bail you out, even if it's a if poorly played ball. Uh, he gets a 9 out of 10 there. Inside the box and chance creation kind of go hand in hand. His inside the box finishing can be a little cons inconsistent, but the fact of the matter is that his chance creation is so good that it really doesn't matter as much that he's not as clinical as Rude Van Nistelrooy or Christian Vieri inside the box. He'll just create three or four more chances anyway, and eventually he's going to score. He's got great shot power and good finishing, and he will convert chances for you on a regular basis. Outside the box, I'd say he's about an 18 to 30 yard out player where you really have a high chance of scoring and where he's best. He's not a super long range shooter, I found. Guys like Sheringham and Perisic did much better in the super long range, but in that area where you can actually start to consider finesse shots or just power and placement, Crespo is very, very good. I marked him down a little bit because of the long range, but overall you can take long shots within reason with him and it'll probably trouble the keeper. His skill running is one of the best out of any legend I've used. He's got four star skill moves. Skilling is definitely a possibility. Or if you can just fake shot and run away from people like you saw in the clip. Overall though, he's very good on the ball. Much better than any other legend I've used in terms of his ability to skill run and dribble. Heading let him down a little bit. Although he's 6'1", he does feel a little bit weak in the air. He's above average not to knock him too badly, but he's certainly not an aerial titan that you would expect to see from a guy like Rude Van Nistelrooy or Christian Vieri or even Shevchenko and Sheringham felt a little bit better in the air. His assisting for others is quite good for a striker. He has 69 passing. I never felt like I was let down by his passing, to be honest. I just wouldn't try crazy 80-yard through balls with him. But he can play most things very, very well. Although, you should be trying to get the ball to Crespo. And that's the thing you should really be focused on, not so much on using him to play other people in because he's so much better probably than most of the players will be on your team anyway because he takes up so much of a budget. All right, I'm going to do something I never did before, and that's include two notes that you should consider before you buy Crespo. And as good as he is, you're going to have to like Argentina squads. Otherwise, he's going to be kind of a problem for you. If you don't like small holding mids, Enzo Perez is really your only Argentine option. And that can be a problem for some people. If you can't afford Di Maria like me, I blew my entire budget on Crespo as soon as I could afford him. Maybe if I could have put Di Maria and Aguero around him, things might have been a little different. But I hated having to play with Higuain and Tevez in the formations I was using. It just wasn't fun to use. And the wide options for Argentina are good but not great. And I found that really I didn't enjoy the squad as a whole. I loved Crespo but hated the squad if that makes any sense at all. Really it was just Crespo putting the team on his back every single day. Now the other important thing is that second in form Benzema is better. Plain and simple and he's a fifth of the price. Benzema is now one of my favorite players in the game and you can put Benzema and Bale together and just rock everybody and you'll still have coins left over to continue to build a dream team. And I'm going to review Benzema next week, and to be honest, you would be better served going off with him. A squad you can build with him and Bale together, basically the, the possibilities are endless and a lot better than the squads you're forced to use if you have Crespo due to the poor legend links. Also, for you PS4 guys, Benzema's basically a Crespo, a better Crespo clone, so you can get away with that as well. Alright, so if you found this at all interesting or helpful, like and subscribe. I'm on Twitch at the Saintly Sounder and on Twitter at the Red Death 329. If you have a player you want to see me review, let me know. Or if you have a squad you want me to try, I'm open to anything. Write it in the comments. Come visit me when I'm doing a Twitch stream. Anyway, the Crespo review, very fun player, very interesting. He has some drawbacks, he's got some positive. He's a very good individual player. Now, if you're one of those money bag type people that can throw a legend squad around him, Crespo is very, very good good but as I mentioned there's some better options for you guys who still although three million is a lot of coins who might want to get more bang for your buck really and build a complete squad around him until next time see you on the pitch